welcome to today's video and today is Saturday and it's icy outside. It is cold and getting colder. It's getting so cold you guys. Um, you guys saw yesterday that we tried bananas and foods with our horses and I got a lot of messages today that said leave the banana peel on. They like it with the banana peel so you better believe I'm going to try and see if they like bananas better with banana peels. Uh, waiting for the girls to come down though. And I'm gonna do it with them because yesterday Sophie kept saying, use the banana with the peel, use the banana with the peel. And I didn't listen to her. So today I wanted to see if they really like them with the peel. Anyway, welcome to today's video is February. It's like almost Valentine's Day, you guys. Sam and I were married on Valentine's Day a few years ago, quite a few years ago. And I'm excited. I love Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays ever. Gracie's like, oh, I'll eat a Oh, now she'll eat a banana. See? Already. <laughs> so this winter, I set this schedule for our family for being home with our mares. Move out of the way. At uh, being home with our mares, I wanted to like make sure that we spend as much time as we can with them, especially when the weather is good. Gracie's <laughs> pulling everything out of my hand. Girls are on their way down, and we've been like doing... Ground. Well, that was interesting. I don't know if you guys saw what happened, but <laughs> Ben heard my name and came running as fast as she could and scared the heck out of Gracie because that's what happens. And <laughs> Gracie ran, knocked the camera, hey! Knocked the camera out of my hand and went running off. No, you don't get treats for being mean to my friends. But I have my halter here. Are you ready to do some work for treats? I can't believe the ca I can't believe the camera survived that. Like that was a big fall, you guys. Maybe it didn't. <laughs> but let's say a big hello to Mr. Ollie, who comes all the time now when he hears our voice. He always has come to Sam. Hey, <laughs> Gracie, stop. Anyway, clearly the horses want to work today. They are ready and willing and able and coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to see that, but Penny has been learning. I've been training her to kiss me and she actually kisses me now and it's so funny. She's so funny. Let's see if she'll do it again when I have the camera. They don't like the camera. Oh, she tried. Have to Get my lips, sister. <laughs> she tries. Anyway, what I was saying was that every weekend that is in the winter when it's not too cold, the girls and I spend time with our mares in the barn and we do it specifically so we can do like groundwork and stuff. We have a friend teaching us a lot of groundwork stuff. It's been so good. It's been doing so much for Penny and I. Don't cry under the influence You and I did not make a sense Tell me why you're putting on a fence Boys don't cry, boys don't cry Endless game, when's it gone? So I know I've been showing a lot of the same thing lately, but this is what we're working on. And this is just kind of like something that I really, really, really want to perfect before we start really getting into our trail riding this summer. And we're doing so much better. Let me show you. So ever since getting Penny, she's always been super scared of her back feet being touched at all. And it's been a slow process. Her front feet, she was the same but I worked really hard on her front feet and her back feet have been taking longer to come along, but 
she's doing like so good this is this has only been the last couple of times I've done this and this is something that I want to like really perfect with her because a lot of our problems when we're out riding are from her having fear about her back feet when horses come up behind her and stuff so I just think it's so good that we've been working on it I love my flag from Sam for Christmas it's helped us a lot and I'm so like it, this you guys remember when I first started with horses I was so super scared of them and so nervous and now things are just like I'm not as scared it kind of makes me jump a little when she freaks out when it touches her back feet at first but I've even gotten so good at just like standing and acting like it doesn't mean anything and just waiting for her to remember that herself like it's just been fun you guys don't knock the camera you're okay Girl, yeah. Look at my good girl. Like this is huge, huge. Like even our last time we worked on this, she was not this good. Like this is so good. And her front feet, yeah, my girl. She's like, okay, I'm not a puppet. I know what I'm doing. Good girl, yeah. I know I've said it before and I'll say it one more time like Penny is so so smart that's what I like about a mare boys are smart too but girls are smart in a different way they're like more driven and more like specific I guess if that makes sense like she learns really really fast and really really well and she figures things out and then she lets me know that she's figured them out I was vlogging and the ice was cracking okay you have a mouthful of crackers do you have a mouthful of crackers I made a sandwich Made a sandwich. All right, so girls are here. Where's Gabby? Where's Gabby? Uh, she's in the bathroom. She's in the bathroom. So another hour. hour. <laughs> another hour till Gabby okay. comes down. All right, so while we're waiting, she loves you. So pretty. I love seeing her love her. All right, so wait, 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 wait. I have to ask you something. Gracie knocked the camera right out of my hands. Flew across the ground. So All right, so Sophie. Let's talk about your dream horse. We are, have been looking for Sophie's dream horse. And our trainer assures us that he'll be able to find her exactly what she needs. So tell the people at home, Sophie, what is your dream horse? A quarter horse. A quarter horse. How tall? Storm's height. Storm's height. So 15'2", 15 15'3"? 15, 15 hands. <laughs> we might have to go a little higher. Okay, a 15 hand quarter horse. What color is your dream horse? Um, either a Palomino or a Cremello. A Palomino or Cromello. So you like the light colored horses. What about a gray horse? That's basically the same thing as a Cromello. Yeah. So she wants another light horse. What kind of skills do you want to do? Like, do you want, like, what do you want? What do you want to do with your horse? I want to do jumpers and a horse that can also do barrels. And a horse that can also do barrels? So are there any other breeds that you would consider besides a quarter horse? Um, yeah. One last question. Mare or gelding? I know this. I know. I do know this. But not everybody knows. And people want to shop with us. People want to like be in on the whole process. Gelding. A gelding. Why or would... Or I'd get a chestnut as well. You would get a gelding chestnut? So you want... She wants a... Palomino. Palomino a Cromello. Or a chestnut. And she wants a... Quarter horse. quarter horse but obviously will you accept whatever your trainer finds that is acceptable for you and after you ride it a few times and see if it fits the right fit for you that has to be first right yeah yeah definitely so obviously she like that's her dream that's like that's she wants to find her dream horse but she knows like both of them know that whatever horse comes out there that she that is the right horse for her is the horse that she's going to end up getting because she will love whatever she gets but those are the specific things that she would love in her dream horse comment below what is your dream horse like maybe the horse you have is your dream horse maybe a horse that you don't have is your dream horse what is your if you could have anything put your horse's spirit in any color size sex what is it what is your dream horse you guys mine is a black and white or a brown and white paint mare I love mares. Sophie does not want a mare, and I understand that. I do think that mares can teach you a whole different set of riding skills, and I think that everybody should ride a mare at least once. <laughs> not a pushy mare like Gracie. Can you give me the flag? I want to... But 
But at this stage in Sophie's uh, journey, she definitely wants a gelding. What are you trying to do? And also, last question. Is a uh, lease a possibility for you? No. Really? Because then if I have to get rid of them, then it's going to be pretty sad. Yeah, but you always have to get rid of horses. Like, you can't, one horse can't take you through your whole journey. Anyway. <laughs> she is not ready to talk about that. She's coming along, you guys. It's been since September that we've been starting this process with her, and she is coming along. Show and me what you're doing. All right, let's show her. So, I I'm did. doing something called sending. Come on over here, and I'm still struggling with it a bit. So, this is sending she already knows what to okay, do so what so you want her to walk between you and the wall and turn around when she comes through all the way let her turn her all the way around oh, she's coming to me she's like but laura you're my owner help help <laughs> the child is trying to train me <laughs> no you're doing really great so she's just gonna walk through Make her do it again, and she's gonna just turn her around so that she's in the opposite position, in the exact same position, facing the opposite direction. Yeah, you're just sending her through the tunnel between you and the wall. So trying to make her swap the way she's. Yeah. She knows because we've been doing it. Good girl. So that's the part where I'm having trouble with. Good girl. Yeah. And then you gotta swap your flag to the other hand. And yeah, and she's still having trouble. <laughs> doesn't understand. Why isn't my mom doing this? Wow, nice of you to join us. Your horse was scared of the other horses and knocked the camera out of my hand and went flying across the ground, landed on them in the mud. Well, that's great. Yeah. So do you know how to send? All I had to do is All right, let's my horse goes. Yeah. My horse doesn't. <laughs> well, Storm. Yeah, I know. Chino. I know. I don't really lunch Chino. Okay. You're, you're going the wrong way. No, she's going the right way. I want her to send between that a little tunnel between her and the wall. Good. Yeah, but she was going the wrong way. Literally, I'm wearing gloves and my hands are so cold. It's supposed to get really cold. Yeah, go ahead. Try with Willow. Yeah, it's supposed to get so cold now Take your flag from and then get warm again. So it's not going to be a very long session of working with our horse. It depends on how cold it is, how long we work with our horses. Sophie's gonna have a little turn right now. Well, maybe you should desensitize her to the flag better first. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. I usually do her shoulder first, but she has been working with her and desensitizing her to the flag, just not as much as I do with Penny. All right, so it's been a little while. Sophie's been working with her mare. <laughs> kind of, you're like trying to make her turn around, go through the tunnel and turn around and be in the exact same position. But the trouble we're having is that our horses are, are, yeah. But see, you're putting the horse in front of her drive line, the flag in front of her drive line, so you're making her not want to finish. The, the flag has to stay in one hand. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Good girl. See how she did that perfectly? Good girl. Now you put the flag in the other hand and use it to drive her again. Good girl. Yeah, well that's it. She knows she's being taught to do treats. Okay, Gabby, let's see you try. Crazy has my halter on. 
Gracie, you look so cute in pink. Too big. Yeah, it's too big. Okay, let's let Gabby have a try. So Gabby thinks that she can do this better than us and she wants to do it without a halter. What did I do? <laughs> you did a circle. <laughs> don't think that that's what, you're lunging her. No, don't shake it and make her scared. Yes. Good girl. Yeah, that was so good. Okay, do it again to the other side. <laughs> Gabby wins. <laughs> well, you did awesome. You did awesome. Give me the flag. Here, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Good girl. I love when a horse will like do things just because you ask them to and because they want to because the payoff is really good. <laughs> See, my pony walks, okay. starts to walk away and she comes back for the treat. Okay, Gabby, Gabby, I have a question for you. Do not let her bite my flag. Do not let her bite my flag. Gabby. I'm not letting her get it, because I'm too fast. You're faster than a dog? Yeah, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, okay, stop, listen. Listen, I wanna ask you a question. Okay, like what? No. What kind of horse do you think your sister should get? Sophia? Yeah, that sister, the only sister you have. Well, you could be talking about my brother. Well, I said sister. <laughs> that doesn't, your brothers don't ride horses. But anyways, which kind of horse? What color do you think she should get? What color? Try and think what she would want. Let's see if you know your sister really well. How well do you know your sister? I know she's gonna want like, Either paint out the loose of Palomino or gray. You think she's into fancy but horses? She could get a bay. So what breed? Red Rome. What breed do you think she would like? If she were gonna get her dream horse, either an appendix mm -hmm. or a quarter horse. But and she could get a warm blood. What size do you think she wants? Well, she could want a pony but she's not getting a pony because she might grow out of that. She is growing out of that. So I would say somewhere between 15.2 to 16.1. And uh, what, bre what sex do you think she should get? Or do you think she would want? Not you, what sex do you think she chose? She, mare. What? <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> She does not know, she, she does, does not know, know you very well, yeah. Okay, and uh, what was the last question? Size, sex, breed, color, I guess that's it. What discipline do you think she wants a, ho what, a horse for? Probably hunter jumper or barrel racing. Yeah. So. Jumper. She really wants to try like I'm, things like. I'm not hunter jumper as in jumper, as in jumping. Yeah, yeah, she, Sophie loves to jump. But anyway, she so is she a good pony. A Palomino pony. I want a Palmino. That one has a lead cage. That one has dressage in it. That one has barrel racing in it. Yeah. That one has cross country this... in it. That one will jump almost anything. Yeah, this is one brave the little she pony. Goes up to is two six. Yeah. We learned how to kill the dog off. Yeah, she won't jump two six, but she'll jump anything under. So. Anyway, that is it for today's video because it's really cold down here, <laughs> mate. You know it's cold when your hands are frozen. Whoa. Also, uh, I waved the cat. I mean, I waved. I waved the cat. I waved the flag near the cat. And the cat went, Woo! Tomorrow we are back to see our boys. And we're excited. We haven't seen them for a few days. And we're back to see them tomorrow. So stay tuned for another vlog. Whoa. You're going to carry her? Do it again. And that never gets old. Ever. Hold on. Come on up. the skin on like Sophie said. The little horse that would not eat a banana yesterday. Oh God, did it. We did it wrong. We did it wrong you guys. Sophie you were right yesterday. I'm sorry. You didn't even get the skin.
skin. I'll Can I give it to your out. horse? No, <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna give it to my horse. Here, Penny Pickle, what do you think? It has a skin this time. Whoa, I don't know, oops. <laughs> do you like it? I don't think she likes it still. They're not eating it? So, she is eating it? Well, she kind of likes it. She's not eating the skin. Oh, <laughs> she's eating it. But maybe it's because, maybe it's because yesterday they had a choice and today they don't have a choice, which is so interesting. And we should have put that in our video yesterday too. If you didn't see our video yesterday, we let our, cho we let our horses choose between horse food or people food and see what they prefer. She's not awesome at biting this. Oh, they only ate half of it. I would say that our mares definitely still don't love bananas. All right, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we are back with our boys. Don't you know that you're beautiful?